pretty much everybody, but specifically, who do you want the most? Yo, what is up, fight fans? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we got to talk about the absolute fire that went down between Gervonta Tank Davis and Lamont Roach in their heated face-to-face -face on Dazn. Get ready, because this beef is cooking, and we're about to serve it hot. All right, y'all. Let's talk about it. Gervonta Davis and Lamont Roach are set to collide this December in a heated pro bout. And let me just say, it's not gonna be pretty. If you thought the face-off was just a little friendly banter, you better think again. These two guys came in with that big fight energy and it looks like they're ready to do anything to get inside each other's heads before they step into the ring. So grab your popcorn, cause we're breaking down all the best moments from that heated Dazzin face to face. And let me tell you, it got spicy. All right, so the face-off went down yesterday, and you could feel the tension through the screen. Gervonta came in with that classic tank swagger, straight up dripping with confidence. You know what I mean? He was giving Lamont that cold stare, not a smile in sight, like he's already seeing how he's gonna drop him in the later rounds. And Roach? My man was not backing down. No, sir. He came ready to clap back, at whatever tank threw his way. You could tell Gervonta had that I'm the king here vibe going on, and who could blame him? The dude's got power that could knock down a brick wall, and he knows it. He's had huge wins against top-tier fighters like Ryan Garcia and Frank Martin. Those highlight reels don't lie. And that's what Tank was reminding Lamont of. Like, constantly, he was all, do you even know who you're up against? You gotta love that classic Gervonta trash talk. Oh, left up for Gervonta. Down goes Martin! Mamma mia! Six, seven, It's eight. like Tank Davis scripts this stuff! Here's the corner. Frank should not be in there. We were talking about that. He's just setting himself up for big trouble here there's the uppercut and there's the left hand wow once he stunned him with that uppercut the undefeated wba lightweight champion of the world gervonta Tank davis but lamont roach came in prepared for all that he had his comebacks locked and loaded he hit gervonta with i've been waiting for a dude like you Bro, you gotta respect the confidence. Like, we've seen Roach go up against some skilled guys in the ring, and he's always been a technical master. He's not gonna get intimidated by the power. He's telling Tank that he's ready to turn this into a boxing clinic. You know it already got heated between those two over social media. So when both guys crossed paths face to face, they were moments away from letting their hands go. And the way Roach has been talking, you just know he has the confidence to back it all up. Now let's break down some of the key moments from this face-to-face -face that had everybody talking. First of all, when Gervonta said Lamont ain't been in with anyone like him, I swear Tank was looking at Roach like he was just another tune-up fight. But Roach wasn't having it. He straight up told Tank that his power won't mean anything if he can't land it. And man, if you saw the look on Tank's face after that, he was pissed. You could tell Roach got under his skin. Gervonta leaned in, like real close, and said, You talk a lot for someone who's about to get knocked out. And Roach? He didn't even flinch. This man just smirked, almost like he knew exactly what buttons to press. Honestly, that's what makes this fight so interesting. It's power versus precision, aggression versus tactics. And you can already see how both fighters are trying to play that mental chess game. Let's talk about Lamont Roach. 
Roach for a second, though. For those of you who aren't familiar with him, Roach is one of those fighters who might have flown under your radar if you're not a hardcore boxing fan, but this guy is no joke. He's got slick movement, great timing, and he's really good at making his opponents look bad. He's a counterpuncher who's going to be looking for every opportunity to make Tank miss and pay. I mean, just look at his fight against Jamel Herring. Dude's got skills, and that's exactly what he's banking on against Gervonta. We're on the upswing like we're punching the ceilings, but nothing is feeling like anyone has any fucking ability to even stick to a subject is killing me. The inability to be humility. Hold the bubble, hold the back, hold it. On the freaking minute, got me thinking of finishing everything with a seat of minutes and ripping the minutes. If I'm asleep, it's a willikin. If I'm thinking of thinking about an evil intent of another feed, I'm a killigan. Cause even if I got it in a beating, a pillikin, even ketamine, I'm at the veteran with a mini tin. It better be at least 70 and 300 milligram, and I might as well. So, what does this mean for the fight? Well, it's pretty simple. If Gervonta can cut off the ring and land those big shots, it's lights out for Lamont. But if Roach can frustrate Tank, keep him at a distance, and pick him apart, we could be looking at a huge upset. And y'all know, Tank doesn't like to get frustrated. We've seen it before. If he feels like he can't get to you, he starts taking risks. And that's when mistakes happen. But don't get it twisted. Gervonta's power is on another level. Like, when this dude connects, it's over. Just ask Ryan Garcia. You don't walk into the ring with Tank and expect an easy night. He's explosive, he's relentless, and once he smells blood, he's gonna finish the job. That's what makes him so dangerous. He's not just a heavy hitter, he's got that killer instinct. Javante, you've knocked out a lot you've knocked out a lot of good fighters, beating some really good fighters. How much do you wanna prove it against someone who's considered elite and the pound for pound? Honestly, I think this face-off told us a lot about what to expect. Tank is coming in to prove he's the baddest man in the division. No questions asked. He wants that knockout, and he wants it bad. But Lamont Roach? He's got nothing to lose, and that makes him dangerous. He's the underdog, and he's embracing it. He's got the skills to make this fight interesting. And if Tank underestimates him for even a second, we might be looking at one of the biggest shocks of the year. But you can't miss what Floyd had to say about this one. Now, y'all know Floyd Mayweather. He craves control, lives for the spotlight, and always has to have the last word. Let's be real, Floyd isn't just some random dude giving Tank advice. This is the guy who mentored Tank, watched him grow from a young prospect to a knockout machine. But lately, their relationship's been on thin ice. We've all seen the drama, from throwing shade on social media to flat out pretending the other doesn't exist. Floyd and Tank are far from being best buds these days. Floyd said, and I quote, Lamont Roach is a dangerous fighter, and Gervonta doesn't need that kind of challenge right now. There are bigger fish to fry. Basically, Floyd's saying, this fight isn't worth it. But what's he really getting at here? Is he worried Roach might pull off the upset of the century? Or is Floyd just trying to push Tank towards bigger money fights? Ones with more hype and, of course, more dollar signs. So, is this warning about Lamont Roach another one of Floyd's mental games? Or is there some real heat here? So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.